Hello all, this is just a very quick video. Um, someone has asked me, how can you change the force magnitude on an area effector? So here you go, this, this sort of green box here, this green outline, this is an area effector. And if I just play the game, um, and, I, and I'm, the character is just in front of this area effector, and if I walk into the, in, into the area effector, there's a magnitude applied to uh, the character and the magnitude, the force magnitude that's uh, applied is uh, 90. So the question uh, I just received was, how do you modify this value using code? So I have just added a script to this uh, area effector called the area effector controller. And let me just open it up for you. Um, pretty straightforward, I hope. Um, so in line five, I say that this script requires an area effector 2D component to be on the, 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 ga the same game object as the script. I created um, a variable called area effector that can hold an area effector 2D component. Then in the awake function, I get the area effector 2D component. And then to set the magnitude, this is really what I want to do. So to set the magnitude, you just go the name of your component, the, uh, sorry, yeah. Uh, I have the, the component stored in this variable. Uh, dot force magnitude is how you access uh, the force magnitude property and put it equal to float value. In this particular example, I'm putting it into, uh, equal to a, f a float value between the range of 70 and, an, and 100. But you can put it equal to whatever you like. So if you keep an eye on this, if you watch this force magnitude, and when I press play, There you go, the force magnitude got put equal to 77. If I stop it, press play again, this time it got put equal to 90. So it's getting put equal to a, a, a random value between uh, 70 and 100. And that's how you do it.